What's happening, everyone? John Hendricks here, Boot Crew Media, coming at you for today's little segment brought to you by Royal Honda. The Saints have signed Jarvis Landry, and of course, it, it started as a kind of a report, and he himself tweeted out, who dat? So, Jarvis Landry is coming to the Saints. Guys, this is nuts, right? I, I think you look back at last year of how bad the Saints wide receiving core is. And now they're not messing around, right? This is not something that's just a, a pipe dream or anything like that. Look, I've, I've talked about it a good bit off season, writing and such, and just talking about the importance of this team, just really giving Jameis Winston a chance. And now they, they really have that. And so, look, Michael Thomas, you've got Jarvis Landry now. You could throw in the slot or do something with him. Chris Olave. Then you have other receivers you got to figure things out with, uh, right? Traquan Smith, Marquez Callaway, Deontay Hardy. Look, it's going to be very hard for anybody past that to crack this depth chart. Really interested to see how this all unfolds. Look, we talked about it a little while ago here on this show. And, and you know, again, my concern is I like Landry as a prospect, right? But the asking price for him was was just too much, right? And that's just kind of how I felt because at first he's looking at $20 million a year. Just wasn't – the money wasn't there to, satis- or to, to basically to support what he's done in the past couple of seasons. Look, now he gets a real chance to revitalize his career, you know, 29, a lot of gas left in the tank, obviously. And man, uh, I don't know about everybody else, but you see how the schedule played out. You see how things have played out in the draft. The Saints are now going to be a team adding Tyron Matthew and now Jarvis Landry in addition to their draft class, which just you can just say Chris Olave and Trevor Penning right there and stop getting a healthy Jameis Winston back. Uh, man, you know, the only thing really that can derail this team is if, if you know, Alvin Kamara gets suspended. But again, we kind of talked about that on last show, uh, just a little bit about, you know, look, if that happens, they have some solid options that exist. But man, it's uh, interesting to think about where they were last year when they didn't have Michael Thomas and they were basically rolling out practice squad receivers. I mean, guys, we're, you're looking at Kevin White and Kenny Stills playing significant roles in games. A little Jordan Humphrey, and no disrespect to any of those guys, right? But it just wasn't going to work on on an NFL team when you have quarterbacks like Trevor Simeon throwing them the ball, or Ian Book throwing the ball, or you know even Taysom Hill. I mean, if it was Drew Brees, yeah, I think it could have worked a little bit, but there just was no hope, especially with that offensive line. But this is a major get for the Saints, and now when you look at them. Um, you know, I think I saw something in Vegas was what nine and a half losses or even uh, eight or something along that lines. But now you you can you can probably say this is a nine to ten win team, maybe of a ceiling of eleven. Uh, look, defensively, got to figure out some things. Um, you know, again, there's some concern. Obviously, Marcus May, we got to figure out how his his DUI arrest from February 2021 is going to play out. Just the simple fact that you know, again, under the new CBA, that's a three game suspension. So that will be hopefully put to bed in June 1st. And yeah, you can hear maybe some of this thunderstorm that's going on in New Orleans, weather, something's going crazy. Who knows who can deal with that? But at any rate, huge addition for the Saints, getting Jarvis Landry. He's signing. We don't know the contract details. We don't know too much right now, but let's just double check. Um, and again, you know, you just look at the Saints team, everything that they had to face last year. And they still were nine and eight, and still in a position to win, uh, get into the wild card. And it came down to the last game; they overcame COVID, fifty-three starters, different starters. I mean, they had coaches out. They've lost James Winston, no Michael Thomas. I mean, this was about as crazy as a snake bitten of a year that the Saints team had had, right? And you know, being there and covering this team, I, I was really high on them last year. You know, I I thought it was a ten and seven team. I thought, and then I doubled down before the season said eleven and six, and it started well. But now you look at the schedule. Oh boy, that that uh Thursday night, or sorry, not Thursday night, but that Saturday game before Christmas, Jarvis Landry coming back to Cleveland to play against the Browns. Uh, that's going to be even better, right? And so, um, you know, look, the schedule came out on on Thursday. That was one big deal. Now you've got this news about Jarvis Landry. That's another big deal. Man, it's uh it's hard not to be optimistic on the Saints. And I know a lot of people have talked about Jameis Winston, but again, here's what I'll say. I've watched him, I've seen him, I've been around him and just look at, at his interviews and just the way he's worked in camp. I think he's in for a real good season. And the thing is, everybody's got to give him a chance, right? And this is gonna be new to territory. 
unfamiliar territory because it's not Sean Payton. But what I got to remind everybody is Pete Carmichael's come in here and said, this is going to be the same type of offense this team has ran for the past 16 years. They're putting a lot of trust in him. I'm also really excited to see Cody Burns tomorrow. And, and you know, I want to really talk to him. He's their Saints new wide receiver co coach from Tennessee that they picked up. He's going to have a lot to deal with. Uh, and, and I don't mean that in a bad way, but he's got so much talent to set him up to succeed. Right. And so, you know, I talked to Willie Martinez a little bit and asked him a couple of questions. And man, I'm really excited about the concept of Cody Burns. He's a player's coach. He's somebody that's going to relate to these guys. And I, look, I think, Sorry for Slandry coming to the Saints, man. This is a, uh, uh, again, I, I, I know he took the visit, right? And it, the asking price was just too much. And you know, it was one of those moves that really you just had to wait to see how things worked out. But this is a huge deal for the Saints. And this is one of those things where, man, you look at these teams that it, super teams in the AFC and um, the Saints have just really just put themselves in another position to be a, a favorite to the NFC. So we'll see how it all plays out and how it looks when it gets to training camp. Obviously, there are going to be some bumps and bruises, but now this is chemistry. And look, I just remember Jameis having Mike Evans and uh, and Chris Godwin in his years at Tampa, right? And now he's got an even better receiving core potentially. So getting Michael Thomas back is going to be huge, guys. And this is going to be a huge season for the Saints. I'm definitely thinking that this is a, a, a definite playoff team. Ten wins, maybe 11. We'll see how it all goes. And just right now, the hysteria surrounding Jarvis Landry and LSU guy. How do you not put the Bengals game now in a primetime position? Now it's, it is it is a CBS game. So my feelings would probably be Nance and Romo calling that one. So CBS probably did protect that one. Maybe they could start moving that because you can flex games as early as week five. So I don't know. We'll see how that plays out. But look, this is a huge addition for the Saints. And just think about where they were last year to now. And this is a team that almost played the playoffs. Sky's the limit, especially defensively, if they can make sure that they keep up with what they're doing. As always, tune to Boot Crew Media. And I'm John Hendricks. Again, thanks to Royal Honda for sponsoring today's show. Have a good one, guys.